How do you do, my friends and people everywhere? I am Julius Sumner Miller. I am the professor in this place. And we were considering the making of two sacks of the same size material, one fixed this way and one fixed this way, and I have made them. Here is the long, skinny one with a bottom, and here is the short, fat one with the bottom. And this is so very important a thing that I'm going to put the arithmetic on the blackboard in part for you to think about. The pieces of cloth were to begin with, they were to begin with 12 inches that way and 36 inches that way. See, one foot by three feet. And we made a sack like that. We made a sack like that. And we made a sack like that. And I ask you to, I urge you to consider the arithmetic. You know that the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h, where that's r and that's h, uh, h, h, right? Now it turns out that when you put the numbers in here, an astonishing thing arises. If this is a volume v, this is a volume 3v. So you see this little sack, this sack rather, contains three times as much as this one. And yet they are made out of the same material. So when you buy in the shop a can of something, look at the shape of it. There could be 40 cans using all the same size material in the manufacture of the can, and they would all contain different volumes of food. Now let's go to the idea of center of gravity. Center of gravity. I have spoken of it in earlier programs, but now we're going to encounter it in a very enchanting way. Here is a thing, a shape, and I have named it a gizmo. Oh, you won't find that word in the dictionary, because when I want a word and it, and it doesn't exist, I make it. Like, for example, consider this, showing you how I make words. I, in a lecture on occasion, talk about rockets and I say there is some stuff in here in a state of combustication oh everybody looks the professor is mad he doesn't know English too good yeah notice if I said in a state of combustion that's weak weak too weak a state of combustication oh that's very strong so I have this little gizmo and I propose to ask you to do as follows Put out one finger, put the end of it on the end of your finger, and have it stay there. And then I say to most men with whom I engage this little contest, you are often equipped to do it. You see, equipped. That word should trigger something. Now you know that if I let go my right hand, the thing will fall down. Of course, and then you have to pick it up. But watch what I'm going to do. Most men wear belts. I have one. Here it is. I'm going to put the belt in that notch. And then I'm going to put it on my finger. And now if you want to get the... There we are. Yeah, isn't that something? And indeed, I could put it on my fingernail. I'll put it on my... There it is on my fingernail. Indeed, I could put it on the point of a pin which reminds us of the cork stoppers with the pins and the forks. Now, what is the argument? Answer. The center of gravity of this whole system is under this point of support and somewhere between the ends of the belt. And it is very stable. Very stable. So you see what delight we can have with a gizmo and a belt.